Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. The reason why you should marry a life path number one. So I would marry a life path number one because One thing about the number one is even when the number one doesn't feel confident, they automatically always exude this confidence. And I just think confidence on a person is super sexy because with confidence, you can fake it till you make it because you already show up looking the part. And it's just a matter of basically believing it on the inside. The outside already matches. So it's just a matter of the inside coming together. And the number one energy is the kind of energy that is a very overprotective energy to a certain extent. So when the number one loves you, basically they will fight to the death for you. They would risk their lives for you. Basically in a weird way, it's almost like whenever you make it into the heart of a number one person it's almost like you are a part of them like literally a part of them like someone speaking negative negatively about you is like them speaking negatively about them it's like someone harming you it's like they're harmed it's like these people are very passionate when it comes to the people that they love and care about And I would definitely marry a life path number one because I'm the type of person that really appreciates like one-on-one situations. And the number one energy is that kind of person who appreciates one-on-one connections. Like the number one energy is not the kind of person that needs to be around a huge crowd of people like birthday number one life path number one energy like these are the type of people that enjoy like their small groups of people that they associate themselves with and that's perfect for someone like me because like i am an introvert but like according to the myers-briggs personality type test i am a extroverted introvert so when it comes to one-on-one situations i can be super extroverted and outgoing but i really don't care for huge groups of people and life path number one energy is the same like this energy doesn't care for huge groups of people either and i love how the number one energy is just filled with like great ideas because the number one energy talks about the mind and being connected to higher realms like before an idea even comes into this reality so number one people they're constantly coming up with great innovative ideas and i'm the type of person that i i love I love solving problems. So say, for example, the number one comes up with an idea, like I'm the type of person that would love to like nurture that idea the same way the number two would nurture that idea and see it into fruition. So, you know, I love the number one energy and would definitely marry the number one energy because I love everything that this energy represents. I love the confidence, I love the dominance, I love the great ideas, I love the whole protective nature because even though I am someone who would consider myself to be super assertive and dominant, it it feels good to be in the presence of someone who basically can take charge, can take the wheel, can take control over the situation so say for example when it comes to my career you know i could be dominant at work and go out into the world and achieve my goals but then when it comes to personal time home time you know with the life path birthday number one energy like they naturally take charge they naturally lead and basically it feels good to allow someone else to take the wheel especially when it's, it comes natural to them and you know like i mentioned with the number one energy their confidence the confidence of a number one person is super attractive male 
or female, just someone just owning their space, owning the space that they're in and just comfortable knowing that regardless of what happens, everything is going to be okay. And the number one energy just exudes that. So it's like, like I mentioned, even if the person is insecure within themselves, basically they're going to like have this appearance like I'm the leader follow me so when a number one person is super confident within themselves and they've matured to a certain point in life where they can bet on themselves like this energy is super attractive and just relaxing to be around because again like who doesn't want to relax and allow someone else to take charge especially if you trust that person because they do a great job of taking charge and leading their own lives and another thing too with the number one energy i mentioned this energy not being the type of energy that likes to be around huge crowds or groups of people so it's like you get to have your ride or die bonnie or clyde type partner where it's like the two of you against the world and if you guys decide to have children or whatever basically everything is all about your family because the number one energy is going to work hard for their family and do everything in their power to make sure that the ones that they love is safe so it's like being with a life path birthday number one person it's like basically you're safe you're safe from harm all you have to do is love this energy show the number one that you appreciate them and appreciate their hard work appreciate them going out into the world and pro providing being a protector you know and not and basically with the number one energy like you don't want to you don't want to challenge the number one energy in the sense like of course you can voice your opinion and whatnot but it's like Leo energy to a certain extent. It's like it's important that you know who the king or the queen is when it comes to this energy. So it's like as long as you treat them with respect, you know, and dignity and you are aware that, you know, this is the king, this is the queen type energy. This is the leader. This is the alpha. It's like basically everything will be everything will be okay so it's a matter of addressing this energy with maximum respect and appreciation and like i said male or female like an, something that crossed my mind just now is like i love when i'm in the car driving and i see like a female or even a male on the motorcycle and they're just doing their thing and they're so comfortable on it it's like that's something that's so exciting to look at for me. I guess maybe it's my Mars in the first house and influencing my whole chart. But I feel like that's like that number one energy, that dear devil type confidence where it's like Aries energy, very similar to Aries energy. Even when they're afraid, you will never know that they're afraid because they are going to do what needs to be done. So it's like marrying a life path birthday number one energy you know you are with a survivor you know you are with someone who will do whatever needs to be done in order to protect the family this is where you see true courage because even if this energy is afraid you will not see it they're going to push forward and make it happen because this energy just identifies with being a leader so you are marrying a leader and marrying a leader doesn't mean that you're following like you guys are leading together but again you get to relax and know that this person is in their element when it comes to leading like it feels good to me to just sit in the passenger seat sometimes and relax and allow the other person to drive especially if i trust them so being in this kind of relationship like this is that situation where you get to just sit back and allow the other person to take the wheel and take charge because they are so good at it and you just basically just relax and you know like petting a lion is what's coming to mind you just let this energy know how much you appreciate them and you know you don't try to compete with them for their leading position or whatever because you know that energy comes natural to them but at the same time it's like you don't know you just basically outdo yourself when it comes to showing this energy how much you appreciate everything that they do because they enjoy doing it for you and 
those are some of the reasons why I would definitely marry a life path number one. If you guys are still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.